What's up, folks? This is Troubleshoot. RJ. Comic. And Sal here, back with another week of Halo Infinite News. Today, we'll talk about upcoming updates, HDS Twitch drops, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The Anvil Operation is live for its final week. This operation contains a pass with 20 tiers of Spartan points and free items, like the Assailer Heartplate chest piece and the Assailer Helmet. Buying either of the premium pass options will also grant players the Red Seeker weapon coating and the Smash and Grab weapon model for the M41 Spanker, as well as making it so that the pass never expires. Even more Halo Infinite updates and Operation News should drop sometime this week. During last week's 343 Community Playdate livestream, both Ron and Unishek announced that more updates and operations are planned for Halo Infinite after the Anvil operation. We'll talk more about what's on the horizon for Halo Infinite in our next episode once this new info drops. In the meantime, stay tuned here for all the latest news on Halo Infinite. Players who log into Halo Infinite from now until the end of July will unlock themselves the DPM armor coating, visor, and emblem set for Disability Pride Month. Be sure to log into Halo Infinite now to unlock yourself these sweet cosmetic items and to celebrate Disability Pride Month. On to this week's shop. We got the same bundles from last week, for one more week, before the release of the brand new operation. HCS bundles are also still available, so check those out if you want additional emblems, weapon coatings, and weapon models. The first bundle in the shop is the Cutthroat Business Bundle, which contains items like the Cutthroat Helmet, the Wealth Transfer Armor Coating, the Inquisitor Reach Commando Weapon Model, and the Eminent Privateer Kill Effect. The second bundle in the shop is the Field Modifications Bundle, which contains the Akanam Helmet, the Gregor Shoulders, and the Maka Macro Binox Utility Piece. The items from this bundle can also be purchased separately in the shop this week. The third bundle in the shop is the Highbreaker Viper Bundle, which contains items like the No Disconnector Visor, the Three Prayer Shoulders, and the Grim Echo Armor Coating. The fourth bundle in the shop is the Highbreaker Bunyip Bundle, which contains items like the Bunyip Helmet, the Spike Pack Utility Piece, and the Shaded Showdown Armor Coating. The fifth bundle in the shop is the Slipstream Factor Grid Bundle, which contains the Slipstream Factor Grid Armor Effect, the Captive Audience Stance, the Magenta Pop Visor, and the Merciless Rhubarb Armor Coating. The sixth bundle in the shop is the Lead Belcher Armor Set, which contains items like the Lead Belcher Helmet, the Hazard Zone Armor Coating, and the Twin Teeth Utility Piece. The seventh bundle in the shop is the ULLR Armor Set, which contains items like the ULLR Helmet, the Rakamak Hepatooth Chest Piece, and the ICU Emblem Set. The eighth bundle in the shop is the Lakusa Armor Set, which contains items like the Lakusa Helmet, the Boombox Stance, and the Sunshine Pass Armor Coating. The ninth bundle in the shop is the Flash Fjord Bundle, which contains the Flash Fjord Armor Coating, the Flash Fjord Weapon Coating, and the Cowcatcher Warhog Vehicle Model. The tenth bundle in the shop is the Locust Armor Set, which contains items like the Locust Helmet, the Raven Smoke Armor Coating, and the Ruckamuck Range King Chest Piece. The eleventh bundle in the shop is the Cat Lover's Bundle, which contains the Faded Blush Armor Coating, the Perfect Audio Helmet Attachment, the Tabby Weapon Charm, and the Cat Weapon Charm. The twelfth bundle in the shop is the Pineapple Heaven Bundle, which contains the Psych Apple Chest Piece, the Pineapple Heaven Emblem Backdrop, and the Chef Emblem Set. The last bundle in the shop is the Vigilant Sniper Bundle, which contains the Orange Chestnut Weapon Coating, the Fossil Tree Stance, and the Vigilance Emblem Set. This shop selection is full of great items. Grab any sales and items you desire before next Tuesday. As always, 
check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite promotions. New Twitch drops will be available to unlock this weekend during the HCS Atlanta Major event. Players can unlock these rewards by watching the competition online on the Halo Twitch channel, the HCS Twitch channel, and through participating co-streamer channels from July 26th to July 28th. Anyone can earn these rewards like the Steel Legion armor coating, the Kilimanjaro weapon charm, and the Cherry Bomb Mongoose coating by watching these live streams. Be sure to catch these HCS streams over this coming weekend if you want to unlock these striking cosmetics for Halo Infinite. A new vehicle coating can be earned by purchasing a recently released Mega Construct set. By purchasing the new Mega Construct's UNSC Arctic Burn Wasp set, you can get yourself the Arctic Burn vehicle coating for Halo Infinite. After purchase, a code can be found within the box which can be entered on the Halo Waypoint website to receive the coating in the game. If you want to stylize your vehicle with this sleek exclusive coating, purchase this set and strike fear into the hearts of your enemies on the Big Team Battlefield. For more information about the Twitch promotion, the Mega Constructs promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. Artist C3 Sabretooth created an animation of UNSC Hunter armor customization and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the video, we can see several different UNSC themed armor pieces, perfectly fit for the hunters seen within Halo. We really like the designs and creativity that went into this animation. The armor and weapons designed for the hunter look absolutely stupendous, and our favorite weapon definitely has to be the massive railgun, seen arcing with energy, while our favorite armor kit definitely has to be the ODST kit. The amount of detail that goes into each armor piece is beyond incredible, and the additional names seen on the right for each piece of equipment is the absolute cherry on top. After seeing these amazing concepts, we have our fingers crossed that perhaps we can one day see a UNSC aligned hunter in a future Halo game. To see this animation, as well as more awesome works from C3 Sabretooth, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. Artist Azul created this piece of a Sangeli warrior and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see an ornately designed elite wielding a blazing red and orange energy sword. We really like the shading and colors of this piece. The Elite looks breathtaking with their unique set of armor and their fiery energy sword. And we especially appreciate how both the sword and the Elite's shoulder pauldron emit a glow effect across their armor and the background. The shading used for both the lighting and coloring of this piece is also expertly done. And the fact that we can see scratches and weathering details across the Elite's armor is especially impressive. This Sangeli warrior is sure to strike fear into even the bravest and boldest of adversaries. To see this piece, as well as more phenomenal works from Azolg, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist James Naughton created this Halo Unreal Engine animation and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the video, we can see the crash site of a UNSC Bumblebee, along with Master Chief and a gorgeous Halo backdrop. We really like the lighting and effects of this animation. The lighting scene in this video is absolutely extraordinary, and the way shadows are cast across the Bumblebee and the Halo installation's landscape is especially jaw-dropping. The effects of this piece, like the electrical sparks from the drop pod, the little fires scattered across the ground, and the beam from the Forerunner Tower, are truly the icing on top of this fantastic animation. And we can easily tell that all of the tools provided by the Unreal Engine were used masterfully to create this video. If the next Halo happens to be created using the Unreal Engine, we can only hope that it will look as wondrous and beautiful as this short animation here. To see this video, as well as more incredible works from James Naughton, Follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you wish to battle within the ancient lost city of gold. This is Eldorado Husky Raid by Halo Infinite Forger Glizzy God. This map takes place within the ancient lost city ruins of Eldorado and is great for the game mode Husky Raid. This map's got extraordinary details and great gameplay flow for a Husky Raid map. We love the engraved structures around the map, 
covered with lush foliage and ornate lamps that look as if they once belonged to a prosperous ancient civilization. The natural elements of this map are also stunning, and we especially like the river that runs through the very center of the map, as well as the treetops that act as an overarching canopy. Most of the map action takes place within a center structure, where players can battle within the many lower pathways or brawl on top of the vertical platforms. However, much action can also happen near the two platforms holding each team's flag. This city of gold may be lost to time, however it still contains both riches and enemy flags for Spartans to capture and plunder. To set out on a treasure adventure on this map for yourself, bookmark Glizzy God's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you ever wanted to race around the nighttime streets of New Mombasa. This is Race Mombasa Circuit by Halo Infinite Forge, a unique and their Forge team. This map takes place within the city of New Mombasa, as seen in Halo 3 ODST, and is great for the race game type made by Artifice. This map somehow manages to look just like the city of New Mombasa, while also simultaneously being a super fun race map. We love the winding streets filled with obstacles like street lamps and barriers, as well as all the background buildings that tower into the nighttime sky. One aspect of this map we find super cool is how there are both speed pads and jump pads for players to utilize. The speed pads will launch players forward quickly to give them an extra boost, while the jump pads will allow players to hop over obstacles and road debris in a pinch. We also appreciate how the map features many ways to get around the streets, such as having makeshift ramps and alternate ways to move around the leftover traffic. However, be wary of how you move around the streets, as it's super easy to flip over your mongoose, especially around those tight corners. New Mombasa may have once been one of Earth's greatest cities. However, Spartans now race on its wet nighttime streets in order to secure a win for all of mankind. To drop feet first, or mongoose first, on this map for yourself, Bookmark Unique's map and Artifice's game type via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you would like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord link below. And feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Play the Anvil Operation for its last week to unlock elite theme rewards for your Spartan. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all of their social media pages so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today. And check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The Anvil Operation is around for one more week, and more updates are dropping soon for Halo Infinite. Get excited for more Halo goodness in the coming weeks. Enjoy the rest of July, everyone. We will see you all in Infinite.